Want to know how to make your own network wires? Stay tuned and I'll show you how. In order to make your own network wires, you're going to need a few things. First, you'll need an RJ45 crimper. Next, you'll want some kind of rotary network wire cutting tool. Now, you'll need a sharp cutting tool, like a pair of scissors. Optionally, a network wire tester, an RJ45 connector head, some network wire, and last but not least, a bit of practice. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put about an inch to an inch and a half of wire into the rotary cutting tool's groove and rotate the tool one revolution in order to cut the outer plastic shielding. You should now have eight exposed wires with different colors and patterns. The first thing you wanna do is separate these wires by colors, orange, green, blue, and brown. You will see that each color has a solid colored wire and a striped colored wire. If you look at this diagram, it shows you exactly how these wires need to be arranged for a network wire. So simply put, take your time and order these wires in a row based upon the colors in this image. Something to note, network wires need to be trained like hair they spend a long time in one position and you're forcing them in a different order. So don't be afraid to pull on them, bend them back and forth, basically whatever's necessary for you to get those wires to stay in the order you arrange. Once you wrangle the wires into the correct order, check the length of the exposed wire. Are any of them a bit longer than the others? If so, you must trim all the wires straight. Once all the wires are ordered and trimmed, you must now insert the wire into the RJ45 connector. With the orange side of the wire on your left and the network jack terminals facing up towards you, slowly insert the wires into the jack. Try your best to get all the wires into the connector without them switching places. It's a good idea to inspect the wires through the clear connector before you crimp to not waste a connector. If everything looks good, then it's time to crimp. Keep in mind though, the connector doesn't hold the wires in place until it's crimped, so be sure to hold the connector on the wires as you fit it into the crimper. The crimper has a slot specific to the RJ45 connector, so simply push the connector into the slot fully and then squeeze the crimper until the wire has been crimped. Typically, the crimper will either unlock itself or make a noticeable popping sound when you have crimped the wire. Now, let's see how we did in our network wire tester. Four green lights means everything is communicating perfectly. And there you have it, the basics to making a network wire. Hopefully this video has helped you. And as always guys, if you like what you see and you want more of these types of videos, do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Fix It, Fix It, Fix It, and I'll see you next time.